We're at APHA and we're discussing adaptation and success and I'll be talking about adaptation in Arizona and I'll be discussing heat related illness and the number of emergency department visits and the number of extreme heat days that we face which is around 100 days over 100 degrees and we find that more than 2,000 emergency room visits and over 126 deaths occur each year from the dangers of extreme heat. The number one way to prevent heat related illness is to go indoors into an air conditioned space and to drink plenty of water before, during and after outdoor activities. Today I'll be discussing how our New York State Health Department has worked with stakeholders across New York State to understand how we can help vulnerable populations not suffer from the impacts of climate change and how climate change and health have an impact on vulnerable populations. Today we're going to learn about how heat impacts vulnerable populations and how we can get our climate and health messages out to those vulnerable populations in advance. So we have worked with the National Text for Baby campaign and that sends text messages out to new moms and families to understand what can you do to stay safe, safe during extreme heat events. We also work with our Office for the Aging so that we can help seniors and people who are older get to a cool spot in the heat and cool down so that they don't suffer, especially if they're living with an existing chronic disease. Today I am discussing some of the great work that we're doing at the Minnesota Department of Health to protect the public from climate health changes. Some of those things that I'm talking about is our work with emergency managers, uh, bringing data to emergency managers so they can do better planning for emergencies and climate related events. We're also doing work with GIS and helping uh, communities develop vulnerability maps. So we're really excited to be here today. Our message is important for a public health audience because heat-related illness is preventable death and we have these deaths occurring and knowing that there are strategies to prevent this from happening is really important and knowing that we have the emergency room visits and the deaths in our state, we see that there's action that needs to take place.